This quick guide video provides an overview of how to analyse an OVEMP recording. Here is an example of a real live recording of an OVEMP. In this example we begin stimulating the left ear at 100 dB NHL. Notice that within very few sweeps we are able to obtain a large OVEMP response which is distinguishable from the background noise. In clinical situations, we typically stop when a clear response has been recorded. It is always recommended to repeat the OVEMP to ensure repeatability. After the test has been completed in the left ear, we continue and stimulate the right ear. Now it is time to mark the waveforms. In a healthy individual with an intact vestibular system, the N1 will occur around 10 milliseconds and the P1 will occur at around 15 milliseconds. It is important to mark both the left and right waveforms. Waveforms can be marked from the record sheet or from the edit sheet. From the edit sheet, ensure you have the waveform which you wish to be marked selected. Next, select the waveform mark you wish to plot and then move the mouse over the selected waveform. A left click on the mouse marks the waveform. Lastly, the waveform should be paired together. With one waveform selected, right click the waveform handle of the opposite ear and select Set as VEMP Partner. These selected waveforms will then be used in the asymmetry calculation. As OVEMP is a contraction of the muscle which takes place after stimuli onset, EMG scaling is not relevant for the OVEMP test. This concludes this quick guide video on analysing the OVEMP response.